Hi, this is Dr. Centeno, and we're going to talk about fat stem cells versus bone marrow because this is a huge controversy. A lot of patients get confused about which they should use to treat their orthopedic problems, and a lot of physicians who really should know better really don't. So it's almost a little bit like Coke versus Pepsi, right? Uh, should you use your own fat or your own bone marrow? Well, one of the things that fat stem cell advocates often claim is that fat has so many more stem cells that you'd be crazy to want to use bone marrow. Now, is this true, false, or one big urban myth? Well, there are two categories of cells that are important in this comparison that you have to understand. The first are nucleated cells. So I'll be talking about nucleated cells, and that means that these are all the traditional cells in either bone marrow or fat. I'll also be talking about mesenchymal stem cells, or MSCs, and this is a common stem cell type in really both tissues. So when you hear someone say that one has more than the other, it's the MSCs that they're talking about. Well, Again, mesenchymal stem cells are just one cell found in both tissues. And then there are many different types of nucleated cells found in both tissues. Those might include mesenchymal stem cells, macrophages, hematopoietic stem cells. And realize that the mesenchymal stem cells are not very common in either tissue. But the nucleated cells are all of the cells. So let's do the math because... Frankly, I think some of the fat stem cell advocates had failed fifth grade math, and that's the problem. MSC counts in both tissues are reported as a percentage of the total nucleated cells in the tissue. Initially, that comparison seems to give fat a huge advantage. So if you look at studies that say that 1 to 5% of the total nucleated cells in fat are MSCs, versus 0.1 to 0.5% in bone marrow, you say, oh my God, fat has so many more stem cells. However, the problem, again, is that fifth grade math. The fat stem cell advocates seem to forget that the denominator is quite different for these two tissues. So there's a huge difference, the number of nucleated cells in bone marrow versus fat. In fact, bone marrow has about 100 times more nucleated cells than fat. So if we do the math and we have a radically different denominator, if we have 100,000 stem cells in either tissue, and that's divided by 100 times more stem cells uh, or, or hematopoietic stem cells in bone marrow, what you get are radically different percentages despite the fact that you have the same number of stem cells. Hence, the two tissues have similar absolute number of stem cells, but the percentages are different due to radically different denominators. Again, the fat stem cell advocates seem to have failed fifth grade mathematics. So what else is in these tissues that might be important for orthopedic tissue repair? Well, in bone marrow aspirate, you have endothelial progenitor cells, the mesenchymal stem cells we talked about, hematopoietic stem cells, platelets, osteochondral reticular cells, mu cells, and macrophages, as well as pericytes. Now, in adipose tissue, you have some of those same things. You've got pericytes and hematopoietic stem cells and endothelial progenitor cells. Uh, as well as mesenchymal stem cells. You also have mu cells and the same macrophages that we talked about. However, one of the really important stem cells that are in bone marrow that aren't really so much in fat are hematopoietic stem cells because it's believed that these can help with muscle repair. So the advantage here is clearly towards bone marrow, as bone marrow has thousands of times more hematopoietic stem cells than fat. Now, osteochondral reticular cells are relatively new, and they're orthopedic-specific repair cells that are only found in bone. They're not found in fat. 
And mu cells are found in both tissues. And these are really cool because mu cells are kind of like doomsday cells. They're hard to kill reserve cells that can become many different kinds of tissues. And they're there so that if uh, all hell breaks loose and the tissue gets damaged, that these stem cells will be left. And they're found in both fat and bone marrow. Now the procedural risks for taking bone marrow and fat are quite different. Most patients think that lipo is a, liposuction is just a really, really benign procedure and that a bone marrow aspiration is a big deal. But in fact, if we look at the research, it's the opposite. So for liposuction, there are far more complications than there are for a bone marrow aspirate. In addition, when compared head to head, 13 consecutive papers have shown that bone marrow is better for orthopedic tissue repair than fat stem cells, and no papers have gone the opposite direction. So conclusions, for orthopedic work, there is no stem cell gap between bone marrow and fat. They have about the same number of stem cells capable of tissue repair with the edge actually going to bone marrow. So thanks so much for listening today and have a great day.